Hey Sag, welcome to my channel. This is a weekend bonus for you guys. This is for Sagittarius, applicable for singles, couples in a relationship, dating or getting to know. And this is for Sag. I'm doing this weekend bonus again because there's a lot of interesting planetary movement. We've got new moon in Sagittarius on the 26th. We've got Venus entering Capricorn and we've got Mercury going straight to Scorpio. 20th which is today and you've got sun entering sagittarius so a lot of a lot to capture okay this is for sag what can i get for sag weekend bonus please okay the world card in um reverse six of swords the lovers card the um seven of pentacles let me just fix my Hi. <laughs> okay, I think that's enough. I'm sorry. All right, then you've got the um, Six of Swords in here. Sag, this is for you. Eight of Cups, wow. Okay, the Judgment. Six of Pentacles, wow. Okay. So, Sag, before I kick, I start, kick off, I start up. I want to thank you for your awesome support. Guys, don't forget to click like, subscribe, and click the notification bell. And if you want a private reading, guys, check Etsy. Check my Etsy store. I am in a promotional price right now. Check it out. Okay, interesting vibe and weaving. You've got the world card in reverse. So, someone is moving on without finding out happiness. Like someone is prepared to offer you happiness, but you're ignoring, you're resisting this connection. They offer you happiness, like you're turning your back to a happiness situation. Like I felt like for some of you, Sag, you're a bit pessimistic that this won't work. Like you don't want to try it anymore because it is so painful like they're still around but it's just so painful to try to explore you don't want to hurt again so you just turn your back like six of swords you're you're kind of prepping your mind along with your em emotions that i like you i miss you but you're you're not giving me the lover's connection or they're not giving something to you so you are preparing to move on logically and emotionally like you're you're having an outcome you're turning your back for something that has no outcome you haven't given all your best like one of the straightforward message in here said is if you're trying to move on turn your back to someone a connection a reconnection make sure that when you look back you could really say i've done my best i've tried hard enough but it didn't work okay because i felt like someone is moving on they want to move on logically emotionally because for them i had enough it's not working bye bye and for some of you it's feeling incomplete you haven't reached that exclusivity but you had enough like playing safe i don't want to get hurt so bye bye this is not the expected outcome of that person or the universe so there's a call to, hey, be fair, be balanced. You're like six. This is six and six and eight. So it's it's more of like, you're turning your back to me. I can make you happy. Like you haven't spent a lot of time with me and you made your conclusion that I'm not enough or something to do with you haven't spent, you haven't really fully explored this, like playing say, like can, it's more of a question to you Sagittarius have you fully explored this connection have you tried all your best with this person connection if you do then you have the right to move on but for some of you it is saying you're moving on with something that you haven't explored they could make you happy but you are feeling like they don't like you some sort of give me a chance dude come on okay Like, you know, this person saying, hey, come back. Why did you go away? We're just starting off. You know, Seven of Pentacles, we haven't really connected well. 
You're backing out. Someone is backing out. I felt like it's you. Death card. Yeah, you're... You don't want to get hurt. Yeah, you're moving on to something that you've never completely tried because you don't want to get hurt. Yeah, that's really the vibe. Yeah, you, you're holding on because this person, they have a historical rep record of ghosting, hurting you. So you're scared, like you don't want to touch this thing because if you touch it, you would be connected. And if you're connected, you get burned and then you get hurt and then you drop them off again. So here you are not looking back because you might be teased to try and then you'll get hurt. So yeah, it's a recip it's a, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm, I keep saying the same message. You're, you're protecting yourself. It's more of when, you know, it's when you love, there's always hate, you know, there's always pain, but it's also happiness. Part of loving is getting hurt. It's part of the process. It's part of the cycle. If you didn't get hurt, then you've never felt love at all. Because like, this is four of pentacles. What are you holding back? Or what is this person's holding back? Might be dealing with Taurus. Someone fear a connection in here. Someone fear a reconnection because it might fail and it would hurt them big time. Like someone is really protective of themselves because they've felt that disappointment. Like someone was disappointed big time. It almost cost them a cray cray moment that they've kind of given up and this person came along and they are bringing the sun card but this person the other person does not want to believe that you're bringing me the sun card no i'm moving on and the person is saying hey hey come back we haven't started you're not you haven't given me a chance like this judgment card is saying and making a noise hey look at me we haven't spent a lot of time and you, you're giving up on me. Give me a chance. Look at me. And um, like this is you. Someone's energy is in here. The death card. I'm moving on. You're dead to me. You hurt me. Bye bye. Like you have a feeling of if, this, if you accept this offer, you would, have, you, would, you would experience love, but you would experience more hurt versus love. That's why you're holding back because you know that this person will hurt you again. Yeah, there's no argument that they would give up or they would retract or they would not stay longer. But you've got the higher point in here. It's really more of Sagittarius. It's more of the outcome is death. <laughs> Make sure that if you are not giving this person a chance, make sure that is when you look back, you don't blame yourself and you say, I wish I could have tried, okay? Because I'm seeing the Hierophant card in here, which is commitment. I'm seeing a solid commitment in here, but there is a process. It's It takes two to tango, okay? This person, no matter how serious they are, they will never deliver the subject the offer to you the seriousness of who they are right now if you do not believe them like the first key to make this to make this successful is for you sagittarius to believe that they bring you indeed sunshine it's not going to be perfect but along the process you would end up with a higher fund but it depending on you because I don't know what your pain points, all right? What is the exact pain point you felt with you with, with this person? But I felt like this is someone you know, this is someone in the past where they've given you a lot of disappointment. And this time around, they're bringing the sun. But this sun is, I don't think it's sufficient enough to convince you to go back because you've, you've someone, they made up their mind in here. So good luck to you, Sagittarius. I'm going to leave it here. I'm going to leave the decision making to you. And um, all the best. And thank you so much for your time today, for tuning in. Check out the Etsy store if you are wanting a customized private reading. Okay? Thanks, guys. Bye-bye.